Hello, my name's James. I'm one of the co-founders of Chargedesk. Chargedesk is on a mission to improve billing support. Today, I'd like to give you a quick walkthrough of our Zendesk integration so you can better understand how our app works inside of Zendesk. As you can see, I have a ticket here from a customer that I'd like to action inside of my Zendesk account. Upon entering the ticket, you can see that the closest customer match shows up almost instantly. Chargedesk uses a unique configurable algorithm to match customer tickets with no additional work by your support agents. In this case, the ticket is being matched to the customer's email address, but we could also match phone numbers, names, or even email domains depending on your account settings. In this case, the customer has requested that the charge be refunded and the subscription upgraded. I'm going to show you how easy this is using the Chargedesk app. Over here on the right hand side, I can see a list of recent payments from the customer as well as the active subscription. If I click on the refund button in any charge, it then gives the, the ability to process a refund. Uh, I can process a partial refund by entering a smaller amount here. You can also enable Chargedesk to collect region, reason codes for refunds. This allows you to track why refunds are getting processed and, uh, and then perform reports on them at the, end of each, at the end of each month or end of each quarter. I'll process this refund and you can see this has immediately gone away and actioned this refund on the underlying payment gateway. If I click on the ticket, I can then see an activity log of the account that performed the refund, the reason code that they used and also the amount that was refunded. It even references the ticket where the action was performed. All this is available for reporting inside your admin panel and for exporting to other reporting systems. Uh, in this case, the customer's asked for the subscription to be upgraded, so I'll demonstrate how that works. I can click on the edit button on the subscription and I can choose a different, uh, a different subscription amount for the customer. In this case, I might want to choose the extra premium compression. I can pro rata the change and save this change to the subscription immediately. Again, this is going off and performing this live against your payment gateway. You can see the agent can see immediately that the description has changed. They can also see the new charge that was created on the customer's account. Alternatively, if I'd like to process a cancellation, I can also perform a, uh, an either immediate cancellation or a cancellation at the end of the period for this description. I'll just go and process this now. In this case, you can see that the customer description has now been cancelled. It's obvious to the support agents what's happened. Um, I, will, I can also reactivate this just for demo purposes. Chargedesk also supports requesting payments from new customers. Uh, in this case, we have an existing customer. If I would like to request a payment from them, I can choose the, a product from the, uh, from the new charge panel and um, I can then send them either an email or I can just create the payment page and send this to the ticket that I'm currently viewing. So in this case, I've generated a payment page for the customer and sent a, a link into the ticket. I could then send this to the customer and they would then be able to pay the amount that I've requested. Finally, in terms of core functionality, Chargedesk supports searching for other customer details. We support a whole range of different search functionality. One of the most custom, uh, one of the most frequently used searches is for the last four digits of a customer's card. In this case, I've I brought up some demo customer data and you can see here that it's matched it to a mask card entered in 444. If in, in the rare cases that Chargedesk can't find a match for your ticket and you need to match it up based on the customer's uh, card number, you can use this uh, to quickly search for customer details. As you can see, Chargedesk has a very close integration with Zendesk. There was no additional authentication required as we support authenticating agents based on their Zendesk account. That's just a quick overview of some of the core functionality that Chargedesk offers inside of Zendesk. If you'd like to see this working on your own account, you can sign up from our homepage, which only takes a few minutes. We offer a 14 day free trial and we have a onboarding wizard that will take you through the setup process. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions as we'd love to help and we'd love to see you using Chargedesk. Thank you.